Hello guys, uh, before we start programming our PIC microcontroller we have to um, make sure that we've got all the software needed for its development so um, let's uh, have a look here I've got MPLAB X IDE installed my version is 5.45 if you don't have MPLAB X then you have to go to microchip website microchip and dot com okay and then we go in the tools and software MPLAB X IDE view latest downloads and in here in the downloads uh, you've got different versions uh, operating system li listed and you have to download the MPLAB X suitable for your operational uh, system if you don't know how to install the MPLAB X I invite you to watch my previous video um, about how to install MPLAB X previous videos also show how to install the XC8 compiler for 8-bit microcontrollers but today let's uh, go ahead and install a uh, compiler for 32 bits uh, microcontrollers so we're gonna go to MPLAB XC compilers now in here we see all the current versions for the compilers view downloads and in here compiler downloads we can see the all the compilers with the uh, current versions I'm going to download the MPLAB XC32 compiler and it's downloading here it's going to take a moment after it downloads uh, I'm going to uh, uh, come back in okay so my compiler is now downloaded I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna let it uh, run just um, it's now starting the background I approve this yes okay now the installation starts so I'm gonna click next accept the agreement it's a free and I'm changing my location to D I always install everything to uh, uh, D is just my reference uh, okay and next again the installation it's gonna take a moment so I'm just gonna fast forward the video and I'm gonna see you in a moment okay so the installation has finished and now uh, we've got this screen so I'm gonna click next and finish so that um, has installed our uh, compiler XC32 we can go now to whichever version of MPLAB XID we have I'm gonna open mine okay now let's confirm that the installer the uh, compiler is there and is active so we go to tools options embedded build tools so now in here um, <coughs> I've got only XC8 compiler now to add my compiler I'm gonna click add Okay, so uh, I've added and uh, went to the path of my compiler and I've added the compiler. Now I can see it, it's available there on the list and all the other files, all the other relevant files are in there as per the installation. So I'm going to click apply and OK. And now uh, what we have to install is the uh, MPLAB Harmony uh, version 3 so let's go to tools now plugins available plugins and in here we should see MPLAB Harmony 3 launcher so I'm gonna tick that I'm gonna inst click install yep that's okay MPLAB I accept the uh, agreements now MPLAB Harmony 3 has been installed the whole MPLAB X ID is gonna restart so I'm just gonna click finish it's gonna take a couple seconds few seconds before the whole MPLAB X ID uh, restarts you don't have to click anything just wait for it to come back okay we got our MPLAB X uh, back on from what we can see now in tools oh, embedded we've got our MPLAB Harmony 3 
before we can use that though we have to go to the content manager and we have to install all the frameworks so I'm just in here I'm just gonna click OK that path OK mm -hmm. just let it run for a moment OK now we've connected to the uh, microchip um, base for the uh, files that we have to have in order to run the MPLAB Harmony uh, successfully so some of the files they selected automatically if we have not installed them previously these are mandatory to have them before we can run MPLAB Harmony there's some additional ones that we can install um, BSP yes and there is um, one more just a core file there is the core file yep so I've got those files uh, selected let's click uh, download selected following pass uh, adds ok now I'm gonna accept all licenses that's fine I'm gonna close and just wait a moment before it uh, downloads so after a moment of uh, downloading we've got all our necessary files uh, on the system so I'm gonna just minimize that now in our MPLAB X IDE if we want to use the Harmony we can go into the new project and we see that 32-bit Harmony 3 project is uh, ready to be used we're gonna cancel that for a moment the last thing that we need for our um, projects our labs is going to be a terminal for USB connection and we're gonna use the um, TerraTerm as well so I'm gonna go TerraTerm um, you know there we go so uh, that's the website I'm gonna go to uh, this one TerraTerm free download and uh, software reviews okay download now and I've got the download here started pretty quick so I'm just gonna click on it and my system is asking me I'm gonna allow okay let's minimize that I accept the agreement next again I'm gonna install this on my D drive next I'll leave this um, as, as it is by default next English and uh, leave the name yep and install it's a quick installation I'm gonna click finish now we can see the uh, desktop icon there a term and there we go this is our terminal that we can be uh, using for our connection with the board great now you've got all the necessary software uh, for our uh, experiments for our labs this is it for this video in the next one we're gonna have a look at the microchip um, lab we're gonna see what has happened there we will recreate it together and we're gonna have a look uh, closer at some of the files uh, thank you very much and I'll see you next time thank you guys bye bye